Hi everyone. I wanted to just get on and testify what God has done in these different uh, seasons in your lifetime. I wanted to share on September 25th, he gave me a dream and then I'll let you know that it came to pass too because he talks to us in our dreams. Um, so in the dream, I remember um, it was a long table and at the end of the table there, I won't say any names, um, but God was using this person in my dream and it was a prophet and that prophet, you know, I was uh, seeing that he was casting out a demon, you know, in the dream and this dream and this demon was ugly. And in the dream, I wanted to go to the bathroom severely, you know, like, dang, I need to go to the bathroom, you know, and all these things I'm telling you do mean uh, in the spirit, you know, they do mean certain things. So in the dream, um, I was wanting to go to the bathroom, you know, you know how you have to go to the bathroom. You're like, I need to go to the bathroom. Where's the bathroom? After that, I seen a window that was open and I was like I don't like how that's open I want to close it and so I went by the window and mind you as I'm and as I'm closing the window I I'm on a balloon it's like a string with a balloon so I'm holding on to the balloon and I'm slowly moving with the balloon and I'm wanting to close that window so I close that window pretty good and tight and then as as I'm going on the balloon I'm holding on to the balloon and I want to go a little higher I'm like I want to go higher off the ground I want to go higher and so in that dream just specifically you know what that dream meant it came to pass all that I just told you guys and unfortunately, um, it didn't happen until I would say a week later because that was September 25th. It actually occurred on my day off on October 5th. You know, I don't know how many of you guys believe, but God gives us, you know, spiritual blessings as gifts for our birthday. I wanted to share this, that that dream had came to pass. And how did it come to pass, Felicia? Well, I was on my day off and I was I was watching something and and then all of a sudden in my heart I just felt like crying I just felt like crying I just felt like I wanted my mom and many of you guys know my testimony and you guys can always go back and watch my testimony on um, moving forward in deliverance uh, moving forward in life and you can watch that um, testimony, what I went through and what I've been through. In my past, I've been delivered from many, um, many spiritual things, you know, because of my past and what happened to me. Um, I knew I still needed some deliverance because I was going to conferences and, you know, I was always questioning God, God, why don't you have a man of God or a woman of God come to me and deliver me and set me free? And I always ask this question because, you know, I'm not the type to where I'll just run up and like, I need deliverance. I'm not that type. I want to wait on Jesus. And so, you know, I was like, Lord, deliver me, you know, uh, speak through, you know, your, your daughters and sons, you know, to deliver me. Because I know I still have some, you know, things to be delivered from. And one particular one, and I didn't know it was there. And I knew it was there, but I just didn't know that I was really needing, you know, to, you know, that deliverance, you know. And so I was really wanting my mom. And I was like, I was just saying my mom has never been there for me she you know she she's been there but she hasn't been there been there you know how your parent is in your you know not in your life but they're still alive well she's still alive she's just not present in my life and I'm not blaming her for that I'm not saying you know anything about that but God was just putting it you know rem reminding me like Felicia you have filled everything in your life of things that were not of me that you were filling in your life that void you know that wanting a you know a mother you know a mother figure and feeling you know motherless 
And I was like, you're right, Lord. You know, I was feeling other things in that, you know. And I was like, I was just starting to cry. And I was like, you know, getting... I remember just being upset that, you know, why wasn't my, and I was talking to Jesus, you know, why was my, why did I have to get the mom, Lord, why did I have to get the mom that, you know, not everybody else has, you know, why did you give me this mom? And I was going through and sobbing and then all of a sudden I just wanted to pray. I wanted, you know, I wanted to pray and and say, wow, I really feel there's something here. And so I was just, you know, praying in the spirit. And then um, it came to me, you know, the Holy Spirit, sh you know, showed me this is an orphan spirit. And I said, wow. I said, okay, Lord. I said, deliver me, set me free. So I remember just come out of me in Jesus name. You don't belong here. You're figured out, you know, orphan spirit. You need to go come up and out of me. And I said, come out now in Jesus name, get out of here. You don't belong here. I don't want you here no more. You need to be broken for me and not even for my life, but my, my family bloodline. And so, because my mom, you know, it happened to my mom and I'm sure it happened to her mom. And you know, it's just a curse that was in my family because we're the only first generation to be saved in my family. And so, and, and, and really, you know, to be living a righteous life, you know, living a right life and, you know, with, you know, thank you, Jesus, that he's protected my marriage, um, you know, really the first uh, generation to be able to endure, you know, all of the things that the enemy brings, you know, towards marriages and succeed, you know, God helped us, you know, through it all, but, you know, um, I was like, okay, this spirit needs to go. And then all of a sudden I remember just, you know, really coughing, coughing and coughing. I went to the bathroom, you know, um, and I was sitting on the toilet and as I was coughing and I was sitting on the toilet, I, you know, if this is too much for you guys, I'm sorry, but tell them my story. Okay. Um, but I was sitting on the toilet and I was just crying and I was just like coughing up. That spirit was really mad. I'm going to tell you guys when I was just telling it to continue to go, leave me now. You have, you know, I cut the cords. I cut you now. Come out of me. You disconnect from me now. You know, I was saying all the words that the Holy Spirit was telling me to say. And then all of a sudden I just felt angry, like, because, you know, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit was showing me what to say and it was, you know, it didn't want to come out and it was so angry. That spirit is so angry. Like when you find out what that spirit is, it is so angry. Like, because you found that spirit, you know, you know, the Lord, you know, revealed to you who, what, what was hiding, you know, and it's been in me for many years. And so all of a sudden I just hit the wall. So I was like, you know, yelling, I was yelling and I was like, ah, you know, and, and then finally it came out completely. And, you know, I went to go, you know, take a shower, you know, and just be with the Lord and, and praying. He was speaking to me. And then all of a sudden the dream came to me. I said, Lord, exactly what happened in my deliverance. You showed me in a dream. And I was like, wow, thank you, Lord, for delivering me, delivering me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So he delivered me from an orphan spirit. He revealed to through me. He was talking to me through my dream that he was going to deliver me, you know, th through, through, um, you know, that ugly spirit through shutting the window, meaning like you're going to be set free, delivered, and then you're going higher, you know, in the balloon. And so I was like, praise God. And then ever since then, ever since I've been delivered, I've been seeing more, I've been clearer more with God. And he said one more. And I said, you're right, Lord, because I still feel it. And um, that next day, he delivered me from uh, incubus spirit because it would torment me sexually. It would torment me in my in my um, dreams. It it would do some tormenting, nasty stuff in my dreams. And so, if any of you guys are dealing with uh, tormenting sexual stuff, that is an incubus spirit for a woman and a succubus for a man. 
So incubus, I'm hopefully saying the word right, incubus is um, a male, you know, seducing a woman in their dreams. And, and I've been having it for so long. I said, Lord, I know you're going to deliver me. I kept the faith. And I said, I know you're going to deliver me. I said, you need to, this needs to be released now. You snake go get off of me. I cut you now. And, and since that day, I've been set free also from the incubus spirit. I haven't had any weird, ugly dreams and, you know, messing with me in my dreams. And so I thank God that he's delivered me. And, and when I was in, when I was in the shower, I can remember hearing the word Mary Magdalene. Remember how she was dealing with, uh, spirits. And I can just remember, like God was telling me, you know, I delivered you just like Mary Magdalene. I was like crying. I was like, wow. I said, thank you, Jesus. You did that. You did that Lord. And so if many of you have been discouraged and you've been so many years bound and you've been waiting on deliverance ministers or uh, people, you know, and waiting on getting set free, your time will come. Let me tell you, God wanted me to reveal this to you to let you know that your time will come um, because many haven't. He was speaking to me because many haven't figured out the the ones that the leaders that are right now or wanting to, you need to have not only power but you need to have love you need to have both you need to have the power and the love the love of god and the power and the sound mind you know the scripture he says the love power and a sound mind he says those will make you powerful in him so once you you understand that you have to have those that you and nothing's impossible for you so i would go in your time and 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 everybody's story is different this is just for me because god delivered me self-deliverance many of the times nobody's laid hands on me um, it's only been and people nobody I can testify till this day nobody has came to me and said you need you know or any leader I've been to many conferences let me tell you many and I only waited on God when he was going to deliver me and nobody has laid their hands on me let me tell you and if you're discouraged because, just like I was sometimes and I was like Lord when is it going to be my time that time will come let me tell you I'm in my 40s now and he just finally delivered me from those other spirits that I was carrying, you know, because of my past and what I went through. Um, so don't be discouraged. He wanted me to let you know, don't be discouraged because he will do what he says he will do for his children. He's there for his children and he will. So he said, keep your faith, keep your faith, believe well, and it will come to pass. Okay, so I wanted to get on here and let you know and reveal that he, if he can do it with me, he could do it with you. So right now, if you're dealing with an orphan spirit, if you're the motherless or the fatherless and you feel that you're that void and you've been filling it up with other things like addictions of food, addictions to alcohol, addictions to drugs, addictions, other things that you feel like, OK, you were just filling it up, filling it. And you just, you just wanted, God, you know, that real true love. You just wanted to have that void filled and, and that spirit has to come out in Jesus name. And then Lord replaces it. So I just pray right now that you be set free from that orphan spirit and you keep believing in it and you tell it to be go now in Jesus name that you say that I know that this spirit is here and that it needs to come out now in the mighty name of Jesus. So you orphan spirit, you have been revealed and I cut you off now. I cut you off now from other people's lives that you have messed with through either generational or in their parents' life or the children's life ever since they were born. So I pray right now that you be set free and you continue to ask the Lord for deliverance. Nothing's impossible for the Lord. He has made everything possible and he turns everything around for the good. Let me tell you, he's done so much in my life. 
and also you know from that incubus and succubus spirit that has been tormenting you Re allow the lord to reveal it to you and be set free now if you need somebody to pray with you and that's okay no judgment here and that's okay you need somebody to help you that's okay because we're all here you know to assist to help but don't rely on the man of God. Don't look at him as uh, an idol, but look to Jesus through them and you will be set free. Have faith just like I did. And I held on and I continued to ask the Lord, what is this? What am I dealing with? And he will reveal it. Just keep looking and keep um, hearing and writing in your journal and that will come to pass just like the Lord did for me. So I pray right now, Father, that you reveal all things in your time, in Jesus' name. I know sometimes we can get impatient, Lord, but I thank you, Father, Lord, for keeping us, and I thank you for growing us, and I thank you that we all have the love and the power and the sound mind. We have all of it, Lord Jesus, that you have us to reveal to us what we should walk in. We should walk in love and your power and the authority in you jesus we thank you for it thank you for strengthening us and i thank you father lord that we will not continue to be mad and upset with you because you didn't deliver us in the time that we have asked so many of you guys have been upset at the lord Many of you guys shut out the Lord. Many of you guys have been uh, uh, angry at him because he hasn't delivered you. He will deliver you. He will. He will. Hold on and he will do what he says that he will do. Okay, precious. All right. I love you guys. Please share this video. I'm going to be putting it on moving forward in life and on all my channels. Thank you guys for supporting us in the ministry. Praise God and all to him. We give glory and honor. And I humbly say this, that all things are possible. And I ask and I just thank God that he did it for me. And I thank him with all my heart. I love Jesus. Many people say, why do you love Jesus so much? Because of what he did for me and what he can do for you guys. Amen. Amen.